Now my shaving cycle is pretty predictable because of the vlog, obviously. You can see, you can track back to which day I shave. I think it's been about two weeks now. I want to say roughly two weeks. And the weird thing is, is that by this stage, I usually like, oh my god, ugh. But it's only been a dull itch. It hasn't been like, eh, at all. So the weird thing is, is that being that it's the colder month, or months, uh, do you think I should keep it? I don't know. I mean, obviously let it grow out a little bit more, and then trim the line here to get rid of this, the, the upper cheek buttons, and then do the neckline, but um, I don't know. What do you reckon? It's not itchy. I'll probably change my mind completely tomorrow and wake up and be like, Nyah! but seriously, what do you think? Cheat day. As you remember last Thursday, we had our cheat day, so kind of like Thursday is the cheat day now. So basically, yeah, we haven't had a full on carb, carb, carb meal, and we haven't had cooked beef in this house for over two weeks now. So, <gasps> guess what we have? Seriously, it's our favorite food. Guess. Did you guess yet? Yes. It's pasta time. How you going there, Mum? How's that pasta working out for you? Mum's sick. She's got a big ass headache. And um, yeah. So I said, "Would you like me to just make you a cheat meal tonight?" And the eyes just went. <gasps> I don't think my head was gonna make my eyes go. But yeah, it smells like heaven. Anyway, it's pasta day and garlic bread day. All of the carbs today. Don't even care. Don't even care. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, yes, I just shake my boots. What up, though? It is about 3.30 a.m., uh, which would make this officially Friday. I think it's Friday. I don't know. But anyway, it's about 3.30. Mum and I are just about to watch an episode of Inspector Lewis because... BP's on weird hours, so, so are we. She's sleeping at the moment, which we should be as well, but, yeah, we're just all messed up. Um, yeah, I wanted to tell you that BP has four teeth, four bottom teeth. Um, three are raised and one has just broken the skin. So, um, yeah, within a week she'll have three, uh, four big-ass bottom teeth. Um, my blister has just healed on my lips. I don't have a fat lip anymore. And it's so funny that Tana was actually doing the Crossroads vlog yesterday because, um, as some of you may know, I have my own YouTube channel, but I haven't really posted anything on my YouTube channel, uh, since, since I was pregnant more or less. Um, I posted a few little mini clips here and there, but nothing really substantial. And, uh, yeah. So, I am, um, I'm partnered. I'm, I'm signed to a company, same as Tanner. I get paid for my videos and all that. And I was thinking to myself that I'm not happy with the format of my channel. I'm not happy with the name of it. I'm not happy with the videos that I've put up and all that stuff. And, and I feel like it's sort of pigeonholed and yeah, I just, I don't know, it, I'm just, I feel like I need a fresh start. So Tanner's thinking about cutting back on daily vlogs or whatever. Um, and I think the idea of a weekly vlog is a good idea because then we could still, you know, film our update lives and everything. But, you know, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be such a oh shit, I haven't filmed anything today, sort of thing. Um, yeah, and then it's just like a recap of our week, more or less, and you guys still get the interaction, but it's not as, it's not really demanding, but it's, yeah, it's not as much for us to, um, thing. I mean, Tanner made the best point. He's like, oh, it's six minutes a day sometimes of, of footage, but it feels like a lot more than that. 
But yeah, anyway, screw that. What are you about? about my vlog, I've actually decided that I am going to ditch my YouTube channel, even though it's partnered and everything, and I'm going to start an absolute fresh. So as soon as I make the channel, record my first video and everything, I will update you on here and let you know where you can check out my vlog because I'm going to do a complete lifestyle travel cooking beauty fashion lifestyle baby family blah 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 vlog it's not just going to be one you know one sort of beauty channel type of thing um yeah I feel like I need a fresh start as well and a clean slate so I've got a few ideas of what I'm going to need in the channel and everything and I'll probably just go ahead and make that tomorrow and record my first video but I'm not going to record my first video until I'm happy with my background setup. So yeah, mum and I are going to go watch Lewis now. Thank you very much everyone um, for your comments uh, on the crossroads vlog it means a real lot that you consider us your friends and um cindy made a really good point when she said that it's sort of more of a one-sided friendship because obviously you guys get to see our lives on a daily basis and you know you've seen some really personal raw moments in our lives so you know you would feel i can understand how you would feel like you know we're friends because even though i haven't even seen most of you guys photos or whatever i'll recognize the regular commenters um nicknames and everything when they come up like sydney cindy and tiff and carrie and yeah jaylene yeah um so yeah there's just Arthur Dent. Oh my god, all these names are coming to me. These people probably don't even watch this. But um, yeah, so we, I, I know exactly what you mean when you say that, you know, you feel like you're visiting friends or whatever and catching up on their lives. Because yeah, when you guys write comments and everything, I get a kick out of it because I feel like I know you too through your comments. I feel like I can sort of not really judge your character, but I get, you know, the essence of who you are sort of thing and what kind of person you are so yeah I think that we will keep the vlog going I really enjoy it so even if mum and I have to take over more or we do it weekly whatever then yeah I think so I think Tanner's just yeah I think he's a bit disappointed that you know it hasn't skyrocketed to fame okay, stardom <laughs> yeah mum he has always said I have to talk quiet because it's like 3 30 in the morning when he started it, he said it was just for him, and all in how's been long's been going now? Two nine hundred and twenty-two days. Jesus. He never wanted to promote it, ever. He's never promoted it, never pushed it, oh, no. never done anything, because he's just wanted to be a personal weekly account mm. of our life, daily account of our lives. So maybe he does need that that push to to have more people see it to get the I don't know something some reward or whatever it is that he feels like he needs at the moment um, I think it's the fact that um you know there's a lot of international family vlogs or whatever um as well that have um got a lot of popularity in that and um and yeah we thought that this would be that it was sort of a niche market because I don't know of any other family vlogs in Australia. Okay, but that's the point. When he started it, that was what I said. You know, what is that what you're aiming to be? And he said, no, I didn't. He didn't want it to be like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I didn't know that. So, yeah. So he's never pushed it, never promoted it. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Um. So maybe that's what we need to do to get him. You no. Know, to reinvent himself in the blog in the vlog I don't know but he just need obviously needs a boost I've been sick so I haven't seen what's been going on but um so is he thinking about stopping it daily and shaking it to a week oh I think he's thinking about stopping it altogether oh that would be disappointing yeah I know and people have said to him you know that even if it's just like once a week vlog or whatever mm. then um yeah I don't yeah. think you'll stop because I think he's just, I think it's habit now of taking the camera everywhere with you and documenting our lives sort of thing. And mm. I know that he wants to complete a full year of Zsa Zsa's life at least. So well, maybe we have to take over a bit more. 
Yeah, I think we do. But seriously though, how boring's the shit that we do? He's saying, oh, you know, I think it'll be boring because I'm in my bedroom all the time. But all we do is go shopping. Yeah, but we do a lot of other things too. Especially now, because, you know, you're starting three new businesses or whatever all at the same time. Yeah, but um, I can't record any of that shit. No, you're not. But it still gives you something to talk about. It still gives you a different scope to your life. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. So, um, yeah, I am doing my hairdressing. I think I've already told you guys that. And um, I'm going to do a couple of little offshoots. They are in the mix. No, um, yeah, I've got a few ideas. That's the thing with us. We come up with awesome business ideas and then we never follow through with them. We are following through with these though. But that's a time that's a talk for another time. Yeah, because this bit's already gone for like ten minutes. God, we can talk some shit. Maybe we should take over and just talk shit. <laughs> yeah, someone said in one of those vlogs, Oh, I, I think we should have girl talk more often. Girl talk part two. We talked about this the other day and I never even got the chance to do it after we finished talking about it. I'd finished vlogging about it the other evening and I was like, yep, now's the time. I can do it right now. I have some spare moments. And then as soon as I finished vlogging, the moments just like faded away. So I am reading my goddamn Spider-Man comics. It's relatively early in the evening. Just had dinner. So yes, it is comic time. He <laughs> he Spider-Man, Spider-Man, that's whatever a spider can. Spins a web, ba 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 rock out, here comes Spider-Man. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. BTW, look at these awesome pyjama pants. Like, seriously. Every time I wear them, Zsa, Zsa tries to pick things off them because she doesn't understand the concept of patterns. These are just like 70s curtains. This is actually more of like a peachy pink fluoro colour. It's coming up like a mustard colour on the thing. But yeah. Ooh, hello, leg. Oh yeah, grab it, grab it, grab it. <laughs>